So the first application in today's list is File Chef. Now, don't let the name put you off. This is not a cooking application. I would describe this as a, a meta or a large scale search engine for all kinds of software, movies, audio, books, pretty much anything you can think of online, you can use this simple application to directly download that content directly onto your device. So let's open that up and we can now enter in anything that we're searching for. So in this example, let's say I'm searching for some movie uh, trailers. So if I click here, and let's say I want to see uh, the Iron Man trailer, so I can type in Iron Man. Let's type that in, and if I press next, and I want to filter that search, so it just shows me video-based content only. So let's click on video. Now, although you can actually navigate with this application with the standard remote control, to actually click on the search, I do have to bring up my virtual mouse, which I can activate by just double pressing the play button. Let's now click on search. And the application then asks you, which browser do you want to send that search string to? So as we are searching for content, that has to be done via a browser. Now in my example, I've got the Firefox browser installed, but this application also supports the Anatoly browser or even Puffin TV. So in my case, I'm gonna click on Firefox. And there we have it guys. So right at the top, we can see the actual search string that was sent to Firefox. And I can now look at the results. So you can just imagine guys, uh, pretty much any content you're looking for, just type it in. Let's just go for uh, this one over here. Let's click on that. And we can see uh, lots of trailers now. Uh, I can click on one of these. Uh, let's just go for this one over here. Click on that again. And literally within five, four, three, two, one, we are now streaming that trailer in full HD guys. So it really is as easy as that. Just type in the search string, wherever you're searching for, if it's video based content or music or uh, eBooks or anything like that, type that into File Chef. That'll then create that search string for you. You can then go directly to that page and pretty much either download or view that content immediately. So that's the first application in today's list, which is File Chef. Next up, we have the special version of Haystack. Now, Haystack, as we can see there, is a great application which will give you access to local and worldwide news that you can access directly on your device. So let's open that up. And with this special version, you won't see any kind of adverts or ad breaks when watching any of the content in here. So let's click on Get Started. Let's get started. And you can sign in if you want to, but in my case, I'm gonna show you what's available without any kind of sign in, without any kind of registration. Uh, let's say I'm interested in uh, science and technology, uh, obviously weather and entertainment. Let's click on next. Now you will see this message only on the Fire Stick, which is regarding the Google Play services, but you can just click on okay, and that won't actually affect the application at all. Now here it's searching for your location. You can just click on that. I can just type in uh, a city, so let's just go for my city, which is London, and I now get to see uh, filtered channels for that location, which I can then select. And just like that, guys, we now have access to all of these channels. Uh, it has a really nice uh, interface, as we can see. All of the navigation is done with the standard remote control. Uh, let's click on business. Here we can see all of the channels for that. If you want to make the screen big, you can just click into that, and that's now in full screen. And let's back out of that. So you can just see guys, uh, lots of channels, lots of news from all over the world, all in full HD that we can now enjoy on all of our devices, absolutely free and now ad free. So that's the second application in today's list, which is Haystack TV. Next up, we have one of my all time favorite file explorers or file managers, which is Me Explore. So let's open that up. Now I've covered this in a couple of videos in the past because it really is a great application, especially when you want to copy files, maybe copy some wallpapers that you've downloaded, or maybe clean up some of your folders. And of course, all of the navigation can be done with the standard remote control. So a couple of highlights with this application. So firstly, we can break our uh, content down into categories. So here, for example, I can say, show me all of the video based content on my device. Let's click on that, or just too fast for that. If I'm looking for images, let's click on that. Now we can see all of the different images across all of the different folders on my device. 
Now what you can also do is if I go to application, here we can see all of the applications I've got installed on my device. So for example, we can see the application that was installed six minutes ago. You can also see how much space it's taking. And I can also use this application to uninstall updates. So for example, I'm not using Amazon Music. Press and hold the select button on this. That's now selected. If I now press the context key, which is one with the three lines, I can now click on uninstall. So what this means is any updates that are installed to this application can now quickly be removed. So I can click on OK. And that's actually removed any updates to the application. Now, as I mentioned before in other videos that unless you block those system updates, then the next time your device does an update, then unfortunately these updates will actually come back to your device. So if you want to stop that happening, then make sure you are using the TDUK update blocker. Okay, so we can uninstall applications, we can uninstall system apps. And the last great thing we can do with this application is to connect to it from other devices. So if I go to the top here, click on the three dots, I can click on servers. And what this is basically saying is I can start, for example, a HTTP server, click on that. This then gives you an address. So if I now go to any other device on my home network, I can now type in that address and I can then fully access the file system off my Fire Stick or whichever device I'm running the Mi Explorer on. And I can then copy content, I can move things in, move things out, and just fully manipulate the files on my internal storage. So Mi Explorer, great application, and that's the third application in today's list. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment, hashtag Fire TV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Next up, we have FTK or the Fast Task Killer. Now, as the name implies, this is a very simple application with just one purpose, which is to close off as many background applications that it can. Now, right at the top, we can see I'm using the developer tools menu just to see how much free memory I have left on my device. And we can see at the moment, I have around about 171 megs of free memory. Now watch what happens when I just open this application. So one click, we get a brief pop-up on the screen showing you which of the processes it was able to close down. And we've now increased our free memory to over 300 megs. So it really is as simple as that. And that is something that I recommend you do on your device, maybe once a day, or maybe before you start your streaming session, just start this application. It will then free up as much memory as it can and you'll end up having much better performance or just a much better streaming experience on your device when you have more free memory. And the last application is a very important application and that's Virus Total. Now the reason why this application is very important is particularly if you are downloading applications from you know online sources, maybe websites, maybe people's filing stores, and just to make sure that there's nothing uh, malicious in that file, maybe some malware or any kind of virus. If you open up this application, let's click on scan. And this will now basically do a quick scan of my Fire Stick or whichever device I've installed this application on and tell me if there's anything uh, malicious in any application or if you find some untrustworthy files. So let's give that a second. Now you will see this error message regarding the Google Play services, but once again, you can just ignore that. Click on OK. Now very importantly, if you do see some applications that have just one or two detections, like for example, uh, Airy TV, let's click on that. I mean, when it's just one or two detections out of like, you know, 75 different virus engines. So in that case, we can classify that as a false positive. Now, when you have true malware or real virus, you'll see it'll be flagged by, you know, 10 plus different engines. So we can see that all these applications are generally uh, clean, don't have any issues. It's a great application, very easy to use, and just something that I do recommend you do regularly on your device just to make sure that you haven't inadvertently installed anything malicious. Okay, so to get any of these applications onto your Fire Stick or Android TV device, just open up your favorite browser and make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or on the Fire Stick or Amazon devices, we can just enter in the short code 53402 and I'll take you directly to techdoctoruk.com. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu which is one with the three lines and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be 
the top five amazing applications for your Fire Stick or Android TV for the month of February. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here are the five applications. So we get to see some information about the application. And under that, you'll see the download link. So this is the link for a Haystack TV. Here we have me explore. And again, under that, you'll have the link for that. So let's say for example, I want to install, um, uh, let's go for FileChef. So under the information about the application, we have the download here. So let's click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will download the application directly onto your device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. As I mentioned in my last video, if this video gets to 1500 likes, then I know that means that you guys do like this kind of content. I'll then prepare some new applications for the next episode. So do like and share this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.